Today is Teachable Tuesday and I am Latasha Starr and today I will be demonstrating or teaching you all how to do goddess box braids. Okay. So for medium size box braids, okay, if you watched my live with the knotless box braids, it's the exact same method when it comes to parting. Okay, so with my medium box braids, I like to do four braids at the nape area, okay? Okay, now I'm up close and personal now, y'all. There we go. Okay, so y'all can see that? Is that a good view? I just don't want to be in the view, okay? Put her head down because I can't see. All right, so that looks about right, okay? Now, for box braids, I do like to use, again, either one of these, okay? This is what I like to use, so we can do this one. Or we can do this one. Oh, Shawnee J, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so like goddess braids. So I will take this piece. Okay, that's that one piece. Well, that ain't gonna work. And then I'm gonna take half of this because I'm gonna use half at the top and then the other half towards the end, okay? Some people call it boho braids. Um, it really all just depends on where you're at. Okay, so me, I like to add the curly hair with the regular braiding hair, okay? Then you just make sure you put that product on the top and the bottom. Now you can twist it with your fingers or you can twist it with a comb as if you was about to start like a, a, a dread. You know what I mean? Like if you was about to start somebody's dread. Um, I just twist it with a comb. To me, it gets a little more uh, tighter to the scalp. Okay, can y'all see that? Y'all see that? So that's how that looks. And it'll stay like that, okay? It, with product on there. Then, we're gonna separate the hair. And I like to separate like this. So I grip it with this, with my left hand. And then I just separate it. I separate the other section in two. Okay. Don't, if you don't twist it, you don't have to twist it. Because I know back in the day you would twist it like that and grip. You don't have to do that. Just separate it. This piece is going to fall over your hand. Okay. And then you'll be able to, see, grip it. Put the middle. So put this middle piece. Oh, y'all, if I can get it. Oh, I missed my nails, y'all. This middle piece is going to grip this piece. Okay. All right, let me get my fingers right. Okay. Y'all can see. Damn, y'all can't really see. Let me get y'all to see. Okay. There we go. And then you're just going to tuck this right piece underneath the middle piece, okay? But you got to grip. See, it's hard because she kind of moving, but maybe if I put my foot right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to turn her, okay? There we go. I can get a better grip. And then you 
you just start to braid. Okay. Then you will release this curly hair. Don't forget you have the curly hair. So take that curly hair, remove it, and continue to braid. Okay. Now the middle piece feel a little thin, and that's because we removed the curly hair. So now we're gonna have to add some hair from a, from one of these pieces, and I'm gonna choose the left uh, piece. To y'all, it look like the right piece, but to me, it's the left piece. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go underneath, okay, and add it. See these two fingers? I'm gonna add it right there. Then I'm gonna drop that back down, and I'm gonna braid, okay? So, the secret behind uniform braids, meaning neat braids, they all look the same size. Each piece, so each one of these pieces, okay? This piece, your middle piece, and this piece, it must feel the same, like the same width, okay? It must feel the same. Then you're gonna get that really neat braid, okay? So I'm gonna have to add some hair from this side in the middle. And you will get that really neat braid. Okay, so we want the ends curly. Okay, so since this hair is so long, we can go ahead and add it kind of like, see she don't have no shoulders so it's kind of hard to tell y'all exactly where to add it. But you will basically get a feel because you just know, okay? And you gotta remember, this hair stretches as you're braiding. So add it, add, a, add it in a section to where it's gonna pass the braiding hair and then still give that curl effect at the end, okay? Because if you were to try to add the braiding hair, I mean the curly hair at the very tip, the hair is gonna be too long. And if you were to add the hair too high, you won't see the curly tip, okay? So you don't want that. I'm gonna go down so y'all can see. And you just keep braiding. This hair is long, but I, I like the way it braids. I love the texture of this hair. This hair is like, hmm, so far so good. I just have to see how it dip. Okay. So you just keep braiding. Make sure the curly strands are on each side, left and right, and you want the curly strands in the middle, okay? So you can tie it. So I don't know if y'all know how to tie it, but I'm gonna show y'all, okay? So, I'm gonna just tuck this up here so y'all can see how I tie. So you will basically, okay, so I still have three pieces, right? So just take a thin piece from each side, whichever side you like, okay? Then you're going to wrap that around, okay? And then pull it through the loop. Do that twice, wrap around, pull through the loop, Okay, now take the same hair that you pulled through the loop and tie it in a knot. Do that twice. Okay, and there you have it. You have your braid. 
See, you got your curly hair hanging. And you have your curly hair at the ends. And with that method, I like that method a lot because it's really no tension. So it's like you'll be able to put these braids up immediately, okay, after you do someone's hair. Now, don't get me wrong. You can't put it up and put it in a super tight ponytail, but you'll be able to move these braids around, okay? See that? Can move it around i actually got a video of me doing that to my daughter's hair i'm gonna have to post that okay so that is that method okay if you have any questions about that feel free to drop them in the comments below okay so i can answer them during q a and for anyone who have just joined welcome okay and that's that and again y'all thank you all for joining me for teachable tuesday i am latasha star and i will see you next tuesday